Ladies and gamers, it is the moment you've all been waiting for. It is time for us to head to from Gurren Town and challenge the Pokemon League. I, I won't be challenging it this episode, full disclosure, uh, because this is episode 19 of Pokemon Unbound, and I like to do important things on round numbers, and an important thing would be to do the Pokemon League on episode 20. Even numbers, round numbers, yeah. Yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for tuning in, as always. <clears throat> if you're enjoying the series, go ahead and drop a like. It means a lot. Uh, yeah, we're going to go. We're going to head here. And I guess we're just going to make our way. And then, if you know, it doesn't take us that long to get to the Pokemon League. Uh, I suppose we'll just do some side quests or something. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I do want to say also, uh, your support in the series has been amazing. I'm glad that you guys appreciate all the extra effort I put in. Uh, so, yeah, if you enjoy the series, please leave a like. It does not go unnoticed. I don't know if I said that already because I'm very tired. Um, I also want to add something what did i want to add i wanted to say something it was just on the tip of my tongue god why do i forget ah yes there is a lot of post game content for this game so this series doesn't end on episode 20 uh so i hope that your interest for the series doesn't really dwindle after we beat the main story because there's quite a lot of post game stuff as well so there's probably there's gonna be more than 20 episodes i'm just gonna i'm just saying that now okay so stay tuned uh now that my pokemon have surpassed level cap i can actually gain levels again so so battling you is not a waste of my time let's fucking go <laughs> and she has a singular luminion she's about to take on the pokemon league with a singular luminion i really want to find all those vavilions man but uh, that's not really something i imagine anybody really wants to watch what's this a twisted spoon wow that that makes sense there's a psychic guy right here yo by the power of my mind i will throw sand in your face time to attack my pokemon how much you want to bet he's got a pokemon that knows sand attack oh this guy doesn't learn sand attack all right hello please battle me i'm so lonely i have a lot to consider guys because I've got to think about which six Pokemon I want to take on the Pokemon League with. And I I want you, I've not thought about that at all. I have not even considered it. And right now, as I'm sitting down, the only one I'm really heavily considering is Araquanid. I love this guy. He's so powerful. And I think, I, I don't know, a lot of you guys are saying that Avalog was kind of like my goat, but I think Araquanid got me out of more sticky situations. Avalog just felt cheap, you know? If I'm struggling with anything that is a physical attacker only, Avalog just sits in its face and walls it. Wow, I wonder why. It's almost like he has a ridiculously high physical defense stat. Whereas Araquanid, I think he deals with things a lot more creatively. Um, he's holding an assault vest. You know, he's got liquidation. Uh, he's got lunge to drop attack. He's got leech fang to gain health back. You know, he's got Miracote to, you know, catch them past these special attackers and i don't i don't know i think you know he's got water bubble too which is a pretty unique ability i don't know i think he's just overall a lot more of a unique special mon to me and uh uh i don't know why i'm trying to make an argument for him here it's not like you guys have a choice in the matter of what i use i just i'm really attached to this araquanid i'm not a big fan of spiders but this one can live uh well callum he's not actually a spider mate you see he's a tick or some shit i don't know okay where are we i'm on my way hello only best swimmers can go all the way to the pokemon league you have a swan on your team and you have the nerve to talk about best swimmer you fool and an azumarill okay well at least you have a good pokemon on your team oh oh item 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 i'm interested i'm listening it is a hyper potion wow that was worth it hello the queen of route 18 what does that mean if you got the 300 to try to find out oh shit imagine just being the queen of a route all right what's over here a focus sash that's actually gonna come in handy hello i mean i look but this spot here is a best for fishing and all of Boreas. I can't tell if he's just, just saying things or if he's actually serious. Like, I feel like this is the type of game to where it would actually be serious. Like, you can probably find a really rare Pokemon there. All right, kill me because I want to kill you. Foolish Gyarados. Both of my friends call me crazy for standing all about here. But what do they know? They stare at each other outside of Cinder Volcano all day. Ah, that's so cute. You know, they're like, yeah, they're making references. Like, yeah, those are my friends. That's so cute. Why don't you guys all fish together, man? And fishing is probably a lot more fun with friends. Okay, have I battled all the trainers here? Doesn't... Nope, no, we still got to battle her. I trained with Tassie. She taught me how to climb waterfalls. Yeah, Tassie's a pretty dope gym leader. The fact that Mega Gyarados can Tuco in a Lola Mola is a fucking... That is, that is a weapon. Mega Gyarados is a weapon. I've, I've collected 67%. To be honest, I'm not exactly interested in collecting 100%. Can I teach him Earthquake over Ice Fang? I don't know what's more useful, really. Hello, Mega Gyarados is cracked, guys. All right, I want to battle all the trainers here. Have I battled them all yet? There's going to be more down here, right? I'm all right. Oh, oh, there is something here, though. What, what is this? This has got to be a cave to like... Yeah, this is like... This isn't... This might be Registeel? Would this be Registeel? I don't know if we've already seen Registeel. This has got to be Registeel. Because we've already seen Regi Ice and Regirock, right? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, we've seen... Yeah, there's literally a statue for Regirock in the previous town. And then Regi Ice is like the same place you get Regigigas, which is like the icy cave. So that's got to be like Registeel, right? Shortly. Okay, here we are. 
Oh, more trainers. I am interested. Hello. Balmy. This um, plateau marks the beginning of the long climb on Victory Road to the Pokemon League. It is where trainers compete against the Elite Four for a chance to become the Boreas champion. Are you one of those trainers? Then my suspicions are confirmed. Take these. Thank you. The climb on Victory Road is long and... Um, uh, I fucking didn't catch the word he said, but yeah, sure. Um, is there any trainers here I have to battle? Oh, fuck off. Wait. Oh, okay. I thought you were a trainer I had to battle. Fog. Thanks, man. Although, is there anybody up here? Hello, hello, hello. Oh, there's a girl over there behind three trees. And there's a, oh, there's a TM up here. Dragon Pulse, okay. Makes sense, I guess. Quite a light item, hello. Did you know that money grows on trees? Oh, you already knew. Oh, no, I didn't. Well, you're absolutely wrong. I just picked this here money, right, wait. Oh, <laughs> okay. So if I go there, I can get $1,000 a day. Or maybe it increases over time. Maybe like she gives you more, more over time. A Roselli berry. <gasps> That's actually a good berry. I recognize that one. That's like the dragon berry, right? That looks like a dragon. Okay, well, we can go up here. Uh, oh, there is trainers here. Uh, I want to battle all the trainers on this route so I can then battle the queen of route 12 or whatever. What else? Uh, trainer tips. Minimal places to heal once you begin your ascent on Victory Road. Don't get caught off guard by healing items. Okay. Oh, th this Victory Road sounds long. Maybe that's all we're going to do this episode is the Victory Road because the Unbound Creator has been pretty good at making puzzles thus far. So, okay, I think I battled all the trainers out here. So I think, oh, oh hello. 68%, baby. One away from the funny number hidden item hidden item i'm listening hello i'm all about that hidden items baby i don't even have a reason to collect them anymore you know besides the fact that they're just nice to have originally i was collecting them for you know that quest but i completed it and now i feel empty all right let's see if i can go battle that lady the queen of row 18 like true royalty you've done it you defeat all the trainers in row 18 as royalty too i took a challenge myself oh let's go serena yo she's smart she's got good taste in pokemon i'll lunge and of course it tear dances because you know what you know good bit of rng we love we love rng out here no sarcasm this isn't this isn't gonna oko but it'll do a little chunk yeah it drops some attack too not bad oh she's gonna withdraw she's a mega trainer too okay so she's giving me a mega stone dragonite okay if i can just drop some attack i'm okay with that break a multi-scale potentially i'm okay with that that wasn't a bad turn for me uh so then i go into what's it what does it want to do to me i actually don't know green mod dragon dance ah that yeah that's yeah that's what it would do to me huh yeah that's oof. Sure, saw that one coming. Oh, Dragon Dance is twice. Wow. See, this is where the AI. I mean, like maybe, maybe like I think. Oh, it's got. Oh, it's got. A, oh, it's got a Yachi Berry. See, I don't know how the AI works, but I think it kind of cheats and it like. Yeah, if it doesn't see me being able to Oko it, it then Dragon Dances again. That's fucking crazy, dude. <laughs> Yeah, if it's like, oh yeah, he can't Oko me. I'm gonna just D-dance again. That's fucking nuts, dude. Holy shit. It's fine though, I've got Sucker Punch, dude. I, I stay packing that Sucker Punch, die. That didn't kill. Why did that not kill? That's so sad. <laughs> Toxicroak, you gotta put your back into it, bro. <laughs> do I just lose to this? Uh, no, I'm gonna drop its attack. I don't lose here, I ain't a bitch. Take a Thunder Punch, yes. I will then, uh, liquidation yeah a new ship is gonna full restore you know this is a good point to full restore that's fine i'll liquidation and drop your defense and then as you dragon dance again i will go back into lex now you're now you're two yep yep i knew it dude uh, you're just too predictable and then i'm going to mega evolve and ice fang because now i no longer have a crippling four times weakness to electric and thunder punch doesn't quite do a lot to me ice fang it misses you know that yeah that's standard that that's standard that's that was pretty much i should have predicted that that's my bad <sighs> um what do I, I just, oh, I live. Shout out to Garchomp's absolute fucking dumpy. Die, thank you. Shout out to Garchomp and it's fucking dump truck of a defense stat. Rapidash, you have a fucking Rapidash. Sorry, Skittles has got this. Liquidation. Uh, Melodic, I can take that. Miracoat, you missed. Miracle. Oh, no. Oh, now you're copying me. Yep. No, you missed again. Dude, can you land a fucking hit? <laughs> it's just copying me. One of these days, someone... Dude, why do you keep missing? <laughs> One of these days. Thank you. You landed. And it's probably going to do literally nothing. Oh, I actually did a decent chunk. Miracle. Finally, that wasn't worth it at all. I should have just leech fanged the entire time. Give me your health. That's what you, uh, that's what you call playing with your food. You know, spiders are a big fan of doing that. I, I just... I just gave myself the heebie-jeebies by saying that. I don't know why I said that. Serena comes back out. That's fine. Serena just dies to lunge. And that's I hurt myself a confusion. You know what? I've been pretty lucky. Oh, 
Okay, more luck. I'll take it. She four swords. I lunge again. Dude, I'm getting so lucky with this. The fact that you're using tear dance on Serena is kind of like... Oh, that, that animation was really clean. That was like really accurate to what it actually is as well. Like in, in the actual games. I'm getting really lucky. So yeah, uh, you know, I'll take it. Wait. Oh, you're Mega Sableye. Oh, wow. I'll, that's actually that's actually a cool Mega. I forgot about him though. Maybe if the, maybe if the post game's rich enough, I can, I can add him to my team. I'm going to drop his defense. Uh, and then I'm going to use Red Rum to wrap this up. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Okay, no, we're chilling. Uh, if you use foul play, if you live and use foul play though, I am fucked. I do want to say that. Okay, we're fine. Yay! That was Royal Battle 1. Fought with honor and dignity. Thank you. Do like Mega Saber like quite a bit. Cool guy. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty. Not the biggest fan of this team. Do you know about the Hall of Fame? It's a place where you go if you defeat all your Pokemon in the Pokemon League. Old champion RT had been there in 1990 before he retired. I was there one of the interviews every uh, one of those times. Sadly, he never did reach that round 100. Maybe you can take him up on the challenge instead. Bruh. <laughs> Holy shit. I've got to end with the hunt. I mean, that's probably that's probably a way to grind money in this game. So yeah, sure. A youngster. This isn't the kind of guy who challenges the Pokemon League. I'll take that bet. You'll be seeing me in the challenge champions room someday. I guarantee it. Okay. I I feel like I've got to defend my title as champion or something like that. Maybe. And that's that. Th th this kid's gonna come battle me. I'm just guessing. Um, you're almost there, Cal. Final climb to the Pokemon League is about to begin. And knowing you, I'm sure you'll get there in one piece. I can't say the same for some of the trainers you'll come across on the way though. <laughs> what does that mean? Are they fucking zombies or some shit? So. As of recording this, Lotad's actually already beat this game on insane difficulty, by the way, which is pretty impressive. Um, and he said that I'm probably going to absolutely despise the fourth Elite Four member. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what the fourth Elite Four member's got going for me. Um, anywho, uh, I'm going to look at my team and see which Pokemon. I don't know. I don't know if this will be the final six. Dude, I don't know who to bring because obviously like a lot of you guys would probably want me to bring some of the earlier mons that we used, you know? Like, you know, I added the Noivern. Uh, you know, you might want to see, uh, you know, you, you know, you might want to see Diggersby come through. You know, maybe some, maybe some Mario Judah. You know, Coco, a classic. I'm not, I'm not sure who I want to use though. I've got all these choices. I'm spoiled for choice. I have yet to use Carnivine. I, I might, should I bring Carnivine just for the, just for the fuck of it? I don't know. Like, is Carnivine even, I don't even think Carnivine's a good mon. <laughs> I don't know why I bred for a Carnivine and then also proceeded to use two ball caps on it. His moveset is atrocious. He's got Levitate, which is cool, I guess. What am I doing with myself? If I had a really ground weak team, I think Carnivine would be pretty dope. He's like anti ground, you know? Gotta see if any of my like TMs can be taught to Carnivine. You can learn Toxic, but I'm one of those players that is too stubborn to use Toxic on a Pokemon and I guess it's like a poison type itself. I don't know. I just think Toxic is such a bullshit strategy. And if, unless it's a poison type using it, you're a fucking pussy. But that being said, what does Carnivine do <laughs> besides potential Toxic? Yo, a Techni- oh, No, what's the- Technician Carnivine could be cool. I mean, I know he's levitating, right? But like if, if Carnivine could get Technician, that could be cool for him. I think another ability that would be really good for him is the- What's the one- Skill Link. Skill Link could be really cool because Bullet Seed, I can see him using. Rock Blast, I could see him using, you know. That's kind of it, but still. They could add like a biting move or something. I don't know. See, the thing about Carnivine is his special attack isn't too bad. It's like 100 attack, 90 special attack. Like it's not, he, he can be a mixed attacker, but you know, like mixed attackers are kind of mid. I guess I can teach him Sludge Bomb. I don't really think he's got anything else better going for him, so why not? Uh, what else can you learn? You can learn Facade, you can learn Rest, Attract, Thief, Leech Fang. Why don't you learn Leech Fang? What? That's just silly. Grass knot. Mm. U turn. Oh, if you got U turn, that would have been that would have been I would have been sold. Dude, Carnivine just oh, infestation. See, like that's a move it learns that like Serena probably can, for example. So like that's you know I'll I'll give that to my Carnivine. And you know what? Maybe, maybe I maybe I stop being stubborn and maybe I just give him toxic. I feel like I should be able to learn Sky Drop. We'll give Carnivine a test run for the victory road. Sure. All right. What are we rocking out with? We got a board bug type. We got a poison fighting type. We got dragon ground. We got ghost fire. We got grass. Ah. Uh, uh, what am I missing? Damn, my entire team is physical attackers though. That's gonna piss me off. Fuck it, I'm bringing Coco. And then instead of Tox Croak, I'll bring Meowstic. Don't know if this is our like most optimal team, but you know what? Dude, fuck it. I'm not using this team to take on the Elite Four by any means. I just wanna use something different for Victory Road, you know? It feels like a crime if I take Kiba off my team. Although at the same time, I do not have a Dark type. So Kiba can actually has some fun. Kiba can have Kiba can have a spot for a little bit. Not Kiba. Um Sinner. Yeah, I think that's okay. I'll take that. Probably not my best team, but fuck it. I wanna try some other buds. Alright, boys. I'm ready when you are. Let's go. Cool. I'm actually happy that I mean by the signs of it, this victory road is gonna be long as hell. So this episode is gonna be just victory road and stuff. Oh wow, that's intimidating. You know, I actually don't mind because you okay, so usually like my my immediate response to coming into Victory Road is 
I want to blitz through it and get out and battle the... Oh, there's like no wild Pokemon here. Jesus. They really... They, that's why they gave you Max Repels. They really did not want you taking on wild Pokemon. Anyways, yeah. Usually my response to Victory Road would be to just blitz through it. You know? Oh, you're coming to because you solve the puzzle? Oh, I didn't. Ooh, okay. But I don't really want to blitz through it. I want to actually explore the entirety of Victory Road for a change. So that's that's new to me. That's not something I've really, I've really done before. Um, anyways, hey... Uh, say hello to my <laughs> my shiny Carnivine. You know, you know, like oh yeah, Carnivine like used to bite Brock's head, right? I want art of that, but with me. Oh, go on, Carnivine. Don't mind if I do. Get some more kills, bro. Let's check your stats. Okay, so your special attack isn't terrible. It could most certainly be higher, but like it's you know it's it's better than Heraquinid. <laughs> and actually, it's not even that far off of fucking Meow Sticks, and that's literally its best. Like it's meant to be it's like most offensive stat. You know, maybe you're not so bad. Maybe you're not so bad. Maybe I'm giving you too hard of a time. Why do you have a Blitzel in Victory Road though? What's good with you, bro? And a Hone Edge? Okay. I solved the puzzle. It only took me two seconds. It's ingenious design really to test your inner strength. The designers of Victory Road set up a puzzle that must be solved in order to pro f <sighs> Okay. Okay, that's fine. Oh, uh, low tide said he hated the ice pu uh, the ice puzzle in this place. Ugh. I can't get in here. That makes sense. Okay, we just gotta, we just gotta bite the bullet. Left or right? Okay, Google, flip a coin. It landed on heads. Okay, for me, I didn't say it, but heads was left, tails was right. Wow, that, <laughs> that ended well. Uh, wow, I guess. Oh, oh no, no, I gotta go this way. Wow, that was. I thought it was like a choice. You just, I just didn't have a choice in the matter. Okay, gotta go down this waterfall. Hey, the night ums, my personal kink. Max elixir, that's actually very handy. Okay. Uh, okay. Hello, I'll bail you. I need training. Okay, I'm gonna call here. Only prove how much of your Pokemon are capable of. My guy has got nothing to prove to you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Leave him alone. Oh, he lived. Dude, Carnivine, you're 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 insane. This thing must not have the thick club to be fair. But you're insane. Here, I'll show you how. I'll show you a real, a real Marowak. Watch me eat this, dude. Your Marowak fucking blows. Your Marowak genuinely fucking sucks. Jesus, bro. Watch this. Watch me Oko you, dude. Your Marowak fucking sucks. It's in my head canonically that Marowak and Carnivine are best friends. Uh, Marowak did not want to see Carnivine take any shit. That's my head cannon or something. Oh, items. We take those. I hate the gems, but yeah, we take those. You, who's brought you this far? This isn't that far in, right? Surely not. All of that. Infestation. This is where toxic would be so good. I mean, sludge bomb is kind of like toxic, I guess. It's got a really high chance of poisoning. Yo, this wall of is getting fucked, bro. Poor guy. Watch, look at his HP. Damn. Unlucky, bro. You just got vined. That's gonna be my new thing. I'm just gonna say you that you got vined when, when Carnivine kills you. Fuck you, Lilligan. You just got vined. Ha <laughs> ha. Yo, hold on. Epic Carnivine sweep? Spoke too soon. Sorry, Absol is also best friends with Carnivine. Fuck you. All right. Ooh, which way do I want to go, boys? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, you go left or right. What's left? She's so helpful. The most helpful person I know. Okay, Google, are you a person? You can be the person. I'll be your assistant. <laughs> yeah? That's kind of kinky. She literally just denounced herself of humanity. She's like, yeah, I'm just not, I'm not even a person. I'm not even real. Dude, I think like, so you know how like nicknames can like really, I guess, I don't know. For me personally, like a nickname, like a really good nickname of a Pokemon just makes me love them on like tenfold. I can't even explain it. Like Red Rum and Marowak is that for me. The fact that like I have this name Red Rum for, for Alolan Marowak, I don't even remember when I came up with it, but it's just, oh my God, it just makes me love the Mon so much. It's just such a good name for such a sick Mon. And it's like, I don't know, Shiny Alolan Marowak is like top 10 favorite Mons for me. I love it so much. Just as much as I love getting flinched by air slashes, it's like one of my favorite things about Pokemon actually. Oh, okay, that's where the rock goes. All right, come on, Dwayne. Laugh, I said Dwayne as in Dwayne the Rock Johnson. <laughs> I feel like this could hurt someone. Like pushing a rock around like this. I mean, I guess <laughs> I'm literally talking about Pokemon though. We're like, ooh, this is tricky actually. What the fuck do I, am I just, I think I'm just soft locked because this fucker won't move. <sighs> you know what? It's about time I visited Chansey anyway. Thank you. Soft lock what probably wasn't the right word to use there. Do I go this way first? What's over here? Oh, the beginning. Yeah, I'm literally talking about the game that's got like fucking monsters. Oh shit, bro. Wait, what the fuck? Didn't I already beat you? Push the boulder onto the pressure plate and I will no longer have a reason to fight. Ah, uh, 
that's smart. This man's literally throwing hands with me because I, I can't put a boulder on a pressure plate. <laughs> uh, see, I don't think this is going to work, honey. Yeah. Yeah, it's not gonna work, is it? All right, I'm gonna save before going down here. Okay, I need to figure this out. So I think it's pretty simple. I think it's just drag them all the way over here. Yeah, yeah. All right, now I'm gonna wait for this fucking guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck you, I beat you to it. It's been done. I'm doing it. Fuck you. I what? How do they like, imagine if I wasn't, like imagine if multiple people were trying to solve this at the same time. Yeah, see, I thought that's what I would do. Cool, I'm smart. Nothing over here, okay. I feel a lot less intimidated now knowing that it was a pretty linear path. Okay, victory road 2F, okay. Hidden items. Hidden items. Lo do love a good hidden item. So besides the fact that I want engagement on my videos, I actually am genuinely curious. Like, um, I, I asked this probably like for you like a couple of minutes ago, but it's still on my mind. What is a nickname of a Pokemon that just makes the Pokemon like so much better for you? Like, like, like I said, Red Rum and Marowak. I literally, I already really like Alolan Marowak, but the fact that I call it Red Rum, that's just so fucking cool to me. I don't know. 69. Yeah, I don't know. Like, is there a Pokemon you you have that you you know nickname that's like you know that it just make you know I don't know I, I don't know what to say before I'm sounding cringe, but it's like that's my Pokemon. You know, if you see a Marowak called Red Rum, you know it's a Hood Cal. You know it's a Hood Cal original. You know, you know. Whereas if you see an Italian called James Pond. Everybody, everybody fucking calls their Italians James Pond. That's not original. You see a, a Marowak called Red Rum. It, it's from me or someone stole it from me. Or we have the same brain. Oh, we're outside now. So yeah, what Pokemon is, it, is that for you? Because I'm really picky with Pokemon nicknames. I'm very picky with Pokemon nicknames. So the fact that I let my my members nickname Pokemon is, it, it just shows how much I appreciate it. Oh, there's Pokemon outside. There's Odinos. That, that would be pretty good to grind on, right? Also, Lotad, I want you to ask answer that Pokemon nickname thing too. I mean, you kind of just give your Pokemon funny, not serious nicknames, but you know, I was, if, I, if I was a Pokemon trainer in the Pokemon, in the Pokemon universe, I think I would have a Marowak that would shiny called red rum and it might be my signature you know because it's edgy and cool like me so this is a mom and a daughter okay yo Luranus, dude i love Luranus so much i miss Luranus so much there's so many cool like alolan and mons and shit fuck man a dragon fang okay bet lotad was punching the wall when he saw that you can only get Odino in the pokemon league keep more go all right i really want this fucking hm like on a real note how do i get to this oh some other pokemon league area wait hold on hold on i'm a genius wait who the fuck are these guys two tamers one of dragons and the other wait what exactly do i tame again draw it again in the caves of cave pokemon i caught mine right here in caves of victory road what phil and pierce uh hello that was not worth it Yo, why is drampa stanced up like that he actually looks really good in sprite form sorry i'm going back to heal out the chancy i'm feeling a little weak sauce why is the only bug type pokemon here durant my cousin promised you there were great bug pokemon here my cousin and I came out here because I accidentally burned all of his bugs. This is me and Lotad. I'm Heatmore, he's Durant. Yeah, this is literally me and Lotad. I'm gonna burn his fucking Durant. Fuck you, stupid Heatmore's Durant's way better. He literally just has a collection of fucking Durant's. All right, time to check out this part of the cave. Oh fuck, two of them? Okay, I'll take these both. Yo, they got hands. You kind of fucking my shit up though. JK, I'm better. All right, item, dragon gem. I think the gems are the lamest fucking items ever, dude. Zygarde number 71 though. Dude, we can't, we, we're so close to being done with Zygarde cells. That's crazy. Oh uh, yeah, my team's like dead. All right, what have we got up here? More items, let's go. Okay, Um, there's not really any crazy puzzles going on right now. Just a bunch of trainers. Maybe it's just long with a bunch of trainers. I actually kind of want to faint here so I can like heal quicker and then come back. Knock me out. Knock me out, Magmotar. You can't because you fucking suck. I was trying to lose and I couldn't. Oh shit. How does... How does this happen? It was like grasslands a second ago. What the fuck? All I want a powerful Pokemon. Me. Yay. Okay, thank you. Yo, I'm gonna numb you and your Pokemon. That's threatening. What could that possibly mean, Al? Electabuzz? Oh, like, yeah, like shock us. Okay, that makes sense. I really wish I had Rockhead. Really wish I had Rockhead. I'll get it in the post game, I guess. All right, it's time. This man leads Bear Tick. I lead a Lolowag. Who lives here? Oh, that, that makes sense. All right, Carnivine, you got this. I believe in you. <laughs> Never again. This man's got an Avalog, dude. This man's got taste. Electros and Avalog, taste. Nope, Zygartel. They're just plastered all over this place. It's almost like this is the source. Okay, um, what else is there up here? Oh, items, a life orb and a blue shard. I'll take that. Hello. Mm, you're a big boy. You know, this is actually Psyche perfectly counters him. N no, he doesn't. I lied. I'm sad now. I just want to give Psyche some screen time. Dude, these trainers have hands. In my defense, I'm not operating at 100% my power, but still. Uh, okay, I'm going to keep going up. 
I guess that's all I gotta do, right? Oh, rock climb. Rock climb got me tempted. You tempted me. A moonstone. I would be lying if I said that was worth it. So I will not lie. Ah, oh, fuck. Are you sure? I'm strong, you know. Do you still want to take me on? You came up to me, lady. Oh, you got a chat up. That's cute. Him on top doesn't mean shit to me. Torkoal? Not worth the time. Ah, uh, he's got a berry. You fucking pussy. Watch me be a, watch me be a fire type. Look at this. Go. People out here using Stoutland, saying like, I'm strong. Bitch, you have a Stoutland. Fuck, you mean you're strong. Hello, hello. People who pass by here have such different moods. It is enjoyable to watch and even more enjoyable to fight against those people. Ah, uh, Gliscor, that is a Pokemon I can beat. I've done this dance before and I came out on top, baby. Ah, this part, okay, we're here. <laughs> Welcome trainer. This final area of Victoria is known as the torture chamber. All that uh, remains here in the Pokemon League is this one icy area. And hey, I get it. Not everyone wants to spend their time sliding looking for the exit. So. Let's cut a deal. Pay me to f I'll send you to the other side. Jesus. Can I change my mind? He literally added a fucking uh, get out of jail card. We guys, you, you know I can't do that. I, I, I've got the money. The money would probably take me less time to grind than it would to figure out the puzzle. But still, we have dignity or, or whatever, whatever that means. Oh, I am. All that stands between me and the, 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 the end is the torture chamber. So, you know, don't threaten me with a good time. That sounds like fun. I fucking love ice puzzles. Maybe not on my current level of sleep, <laughs> but I do love ice puzzles. I'm very tired. Oh, Pavilion. Wow, that's that's where the icy one is. Or the other icy one. Oh, the Gengarite. Wow. Imagine having a Gengar on your team this entire time just to now be able to mega evolve it. Or imagine having a Gengar on your team and then missing that. <laughs> okay, the Pavilion was caught. What's in here? Oh, what the fuck? This must be like a legendary Pokemon, right? Like PP Max. Yeah, this will be like Suicune, Arcuno, Curum maybe. This reminds me of Curum. Well, boys, it's time to give the torture chamber a go. Um, before I do, I'm going to wash my face with water so I can wake the fuck up. This is gonna be pain. <sighs> okay, all right, let's do it. I, I just had to tell my family I love them. Okay, oh, ah, it's so big. Uh, okay, okay. We're not gonna take the bitch way out. I want this to serve as a tutorial. <laughs> Right, so that's, is that just straight up, that path up there? Is that, is that the way out? That, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, okay. Oh, like there's no fun in it if I don't figure it out myself, you know? Like, you know, what's the fun in, what's the, what's the fun in it if there's, if I don't, if I don't learn it myself? So if I go down, it brings me here. Okay, I see. Okay, this is interesting. How did Skelly make this? If Skelly made it, you know, maybe someone else designed it. How did they, how did he come up with this? Let's try up. Uh, that doesn't seem to work. And neither does down. Okay. Uh, we go left from here. Okay. That's not bad. Uh, all the way down here. We go right, then up. And then... Oh! <laughs> I see why it's called Torture Chamber. <laughs> Oh, it's one tile off. I was, oh, that's funny. Oh, that's funny. Okay. Uh, let's try from here. I don't think I started from the left yet. Okay. I really enjoy ice puzzles. I don't know. I, I, I like, I, I feel really satisfied when I finally figure them out. You know, they're frustrating, but you know, like it, it's worse when you're in front of a live chat because chat is delayed by like 10 seconds on YouTube or maybe 15 seconds on YouTube. And they're just yelling at you, go left. And I'm like, okay, by the time you told me to go left, I've already went left. So like, I remember doing an insurgents puzzle and that shit was so fucking stressful because chat was like trying to walk me through it. And I'm just just like bruh yeah the puzzles and insurgents weren't really fun there were there were a lot of non-fun puzzles anywho um yeah no this doesn't make any sense to go up from here hmm this is interesting i remember lotad specifically said fuck this puzzle and so that you know that, that's a it's a pretty bad sign because lotad generally likes puzzles you know he's a bit he's a he really liked the distortion world as as as, as did i so if lotad says fuck that puzzle then you know you, you know that that puzzle that puzzle <laughs> got hands okay uh i bet lotad's watching this back cringing oh callum you went the wrong way okay what does this do interesting not what i wanted it to do that's for sure absolutely not yep wait what about this huh okay no not what i thought <laughs> What about this? No, not what I thought. Hmm. I wonder if anybody actually, I mean, obviously somebody has, but I wonder how many, like I wonder what percentage of people spent the 200K to get through here rather than solving the puzzle. I, I really want to know the percentage. Oh, I found a rare candy. I wasn't even, I mean, I mean, I, was, I accidentally clicked a, oops. Oh, hey, more hidden items. Wow, the protector. Imagine waiting this long to get a fucking right here. I have to sit here and listen to this fucking siren while also trying to figure out this puzzle. Yeah, this really is fucking torture. And my freezer. 
is so fucking cold. I had to throw away a perfectly good pizza for, for other perfectly good pizzas. <laughs> All right, I, it's I gotta stop messing around. It's time I actually solve this, right, guys? You know, I kind of wanna, I kind of wanna make a backup of this save file. This could be a fun. This could, yo, wait, hold on. Oh my god, I could make this into such a fun video idea. Oh, I wanna solve this myself, but imagine if I gave this ROM and save file to like five of my friends. And I said the first person to solve it gets like 50k. But what I would have, oh, 50k, fuck, dude. $50, 50k? <laughs> Are you, I don't even have 50k. I, I'm not even worth that much. Uh, that would be such a cool video idea though. First person to solve this puzzle gets this. Ooh, cause like, I mean, ice puzzles in Pokemon generally aren't that hard. So you, you wanna do the ROM hack ice puzzles, right? Ooh, I'm, I'm coming up with some banger ideas. Ooh, I want to back up my save file just in the off chance. I want to I want to make that into a video. And what I would do is I would actually probably with the backup save file I make, I would maybe like, I guess, sell all my items and just make it so they can't cheat and use the uh, the guy here. Or I could just implement a rule, but I think it would be funnier if I like, I mean, I guess they could just go grind money at that point. That could be their way around it. Yeah, I'd probably just tell them you're not allowed to use the guy to teleport out. I mean, Lotad already knows how to solve it, so I don't know if I would include him in that, unfortunately, but. Oh shit, okay. This is the first time I've made fucking progress. So if I go up, oh wait, there's items. Fuck, I missed it. I go up, there's an item here. Hug. Uh, left, obviously like nothing happens. If I go right, uh, oh fuck. Oh, okay. We're making out here, boys. No, we're not. <laughs> I love that I can just jump back right up to it though. Why do I feel like, oh, oh. Okay, I might. Why do I? Feel, I can't really do anything with this. I go left, nothing. Go right, nothing. I, I got my left and right mixed up. Shut up. Uh, down, I just come back here. So this one feels like a complete burnout because like I come here, I can go left, and it just takes me like I've already been here before. I already know that this doesn't work. So go down. I don't uh, left. It just brings me back over to this. I'm assuming these are like the ways to go, right? I think we're I think we're onto it. I think like it's probably once you go onto the first one, you're chilling. But then I come down here and this is what happens. Oh, there's a hidden item over here. Let's go. Rockium Z, Jesus. Uh, the only way I can go is left, but it doesn't get me on the thing. So I don't know if I messed it up or not. Up. Uh, have I fucked it, guys? Oh, wait, maybe not. I don't know. Wait, fuck. No, I think I have. I think I fucked it up. No, no, I messed it up. Wait, no, I didn't. <laughs> Solved an accident. Let's go. What the fuck? Okay, we take those. That wasn't that bad. I think you just literally need to get like solve the first part and you're chilling. It's just huge. Okay. Jesus. Wait, I really want to. I feel like I didn't earn that. <laughs> what the fuck was that? I wasn't even thinking there. I was just pushing buttons. Okay, cool. Well, I'm out. Pokemon League. Okay, we made it. Damn. It's got the Sinnoh music and everything. Sinnoh confirmed. Oh my god. Okay. Um, so, um, each member of the Elite Four likes to set up a certain conditions in the field before battle. Uh, first, there's Molman. He likes to set up a vicious sandstorm, a kind of sandstorm that does more damage than a regular sandstorm. Oh, fuck's sake. This kind of sandstorm also boosts ground types with F and won't go away if you get rid of it. Next, there's Elias. Um, when you fight him, all ghost type Pokemon will take half damage when they're at full health. Wait, wait, what? Third comes Annabelle. Her room is filled with the misty terrain. And not only that, but fairy types. Senna will have their lowest defensive stat boosted. Lastly, there's Penny. There's a rainbow in her room that raises the chance of secondary move effects used by dragons. Make sure you're prepared for these conditions before you fight them. Oh, fucking. So we've got ground, ghost. Wait, was it ground, ghost, fairy, dragon? Jesus. My only friend is my Pokemon. I don't need any more friends than him. Bond between a trainer and their best friend is unbreakable, don't you think? A trainer and their best friend can be any challenge. Even the Pokemon League. Do you think you can beat up with all of them? <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll do that sometime. <laughs> <laughs> Not today though. And you clear the Pokemon League with um, only one Pokemon through your bond. Yeah, this is cool that there's some Pokemon League challenges. I actually really like this. Some members of the Elite Four like to battle two on two. So if you don't have a TM for Protect, now is a good time to purchase it from Fallshore City. Yo, that's so, I already have bought it, but thank you. That is such a good warning. Wow, that is, wow, that's actually really sweet. The Elite Four are among the, among us when the imposter is sus. Uh, strongest trainers in Boreas, before fighting them, you should know what you're up against. Molman uses ground, Elias uses ghost, Animal uses fairy, Penny uses dragon. They don't have many shared weaknesses, so prepared properly by breaking Pokemon that know a good variety of moves. Well, 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 well. Man, uh, we're here. Um, I think this episode was long enough. So next time we take on the Elite Four and Champion. Stay tuned for Pokemon Unbound episode 20. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a big one. Hope you guys are looking forward to it because I most certainly am. Between now and the next episode, 
I am going to train my team up in preparation for all this. I, I don't know what team I want to use yet, but but when I, I wait, is there like a level cap? Did I turn it off? Ooh, oh, I didn't. I didn't turn it off. <laughs> my bad. Anyways, uh, I'm now capped. Uh, I'm gonna go train up some t uh, some teams for the for the elite four. Or well, train up my team for the elite four. Wish me luck. I'll catch you guys tomorrow for the next episode. Bye bye.